Expectations and reality are often two different things. Hi, I'm Phil Cook, and I want to remind you that sometimes what we expect about a project is not exactly what we find. You know, I was up at Lake Tahoe recently. We took the family up there and the grandkids up there to go skiing, and we knew the snow was not fantastic, but we believed it was better than what we found. When we got there, man, the reality was not what our expectations had led us to believe. And I find this often true with the projects we do, with the companies we have, with family relationships. Our expectations just aren't the same as the reality we find. Some people get upset with that. They get so anger, uh, angry. They get bitter. Sometimes they just drop the project. Sometimes they go through a divorce. Sometimes they just walk away from everything. I'm going to tell you something. Very rarely in my life has the expectation fit the reality. Many times I overexpect, and I and I find the reality of a situation is not what I hoped it was. But the thing is, I don't give up. I make it work. I work with the resources I have, the funding that I have, the people I have, the equipment that I have, whatever the circumstance. So just remember, don't base everything on your expectations. Learn as much as you can. Research as much as you can. But sometimes when you get there, when you take that job or accept that project or develop that relationship with someone, it's not going to be 100% of what you expected. So rather than get bitter, rather than get angry, rather than walk away, think about making the best of the situation you're in. Because often, I've just discovered in my career, the greatest projects, the projects I'm most proud of, were the projects I took the ingredients I had, the relationships I had, the resources I had, and I made do. And guess what? They often turned out far better than I ever even expected. <music>